So I was going to show you guys the beach, but it looks like the uh, high wind advisory has everything shut down. I don't know if you can see the white caps in the background. But uh, yeah, high wind advisory, high surf advisory. Beaches are shut down, so we don't kill our tourists. Alright guys, uh, back here on the road doing race support. There's one of the athletes. We are in Waikoloa, Hawaii. You probably don't have the same views that I have, but uh, that's Waikoloa. <laughs> Over here we have Mauna Kea. Coming up on a couple more athletes here. On the 690 today, couldn't figure it out quite blustery. This isn't uh, not all, the, all that uncommon for Waikoloa. Hopefully you can hear me. But uh, yeah, the, the 690 is really good in the wind. Doesn't have a lot of surface area. So in the crosswinds, it doesn't really blow around too well. And as you can see, I don't have a windshield. And I'm doing a is not quite exactly correct, but uh, it's a zone about 65 at the moment. One-handed, no problem. Pretty good size crosswind. You can't see the grass blowing over here to my right, but it's blowing pretty decent. But, uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is the Kona landscape. Lots of black lava rocks. Some more athletes here. Riding sideways. <laughs> anyway, I, well, I wanted to, I don't know, just put a quick update video out there. How much I love my, love my 690. And I'm gonna do a little demo on um, on the speed wobble that this thing gets when it has the tusk bags on it. So I've got the large size tusk bags. I'll turn around right up here so I can show you. <laughs> so anyway, we have these uh, tusk bags on here. Got my phone plugged in, it's charging. Uh, they're pretty awesome carry a lot of stuff but they do uh, in my opinion cause the bike to speed wobble a little bit and I think it's because they actually have so much surface area and they're they're quite heavy um, I think they're like 11 pounds a piece don't quote me on that but it's it's over the back end so essentially with the racks and the bags on if we got 22 pounds for the bags and then I think the racks are are roughly 10 pounds We've got quite a bit of weight over the back end. Let's say uh, pretty close to 30 pounds hanging over the back end, if even if we don't have anything in them. Um, obviously not all that weight is directly over the back because the bar is down here. But So we're going to crank this thing up, and we're going to see where it starts to speed wobble. And it depends on the wind, and it also depends on your, your shifting aggression. So if you're uh, with the weight in the bike, it kind of squats a little bit more as you shift and so once it starts to go it keeps wobbling but generally it's not until you get up uh, at least over 70 and usually around 85 and it's also you can see the grass and the trees blowing right here it's also affected by what kind of uh, wind direction you have and things so start creeping out here so I don't do a big burnout in the gravel I'm going to watch the speedo. So there's 72. And there comes the wobble. It's not bad. It's, it's not like head shake or anything. But you see I'm doing 80 and 
and we've got a full wobble going. 82. It only does that with the tusk bags. So 84. Back off. Yes. 63, 64 miles an hour. 65. And there it's back, right about 74 miles an hour. So that only happens with these bags on. I've had this KTM 690 at 109 miles an hour. That's the fastest I've got to go on it, which is uh, incredibly fast around here because I'm on the fastest road right now, which is a 55 mile an hour road. We're in a, in a pretty stiff headwind at the moment. I'm only in fifth gear. 109 miles an hour and zero handling issues with this. The only time I've ever had it wobble of any kind is when I have the bags on the back. And based on the way these riders are uh, getting blown around, I'm going to say that the, the wind we're in right now is a minimum of about 20 miles an hour. I really don't have a good gauge for that. But. So just a quick note, this is about the same speed that it happened on my KLR650. Um, sometimes it takes about 85 miles an hour to hit it, but looks like somewhere around uh, 74 if you're in some windy conditions. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. And uh, give you a quick shot of the landscape here. This is uh, Hualalai Resort. And right next to that's where all America's billionaires live. You can see the Hawaiian flag down there blowing in the wind. And uh, the billionaires, they all live in Kukio there. Yeah. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And uh, look for a bunch more videos from me soon. You guys all have a good day.